there are perhaps three important strategy lessons in this case. Number one, the history of the company. Number two, the problem of competing on price in mature markets. And number three, the importance of key factors for success and their strategy implications. Let's look at each of these in turn. SAB Miller started out as South African breweries in the 1980s. It was unable to move outside its home country because of political sanctions. With the end of apartheid, it sold some of its South African interests, like clothing and retailing, to pay for international expansion in brewing. It then acquired a series of companies. And over the years, it has built an impressive portfolio of brands, partly at least by acquisition and merger. Partly also by internal growth strategies, new plant, new information technology systems, and new local premium brands. From a strategy perspective, it's always worth examining the history of a company to understand its strategy. The second area is about pricing in mature markets. This is an important consideration in strategy, especially if there is a risk of a price war. And this was precisely the situation in the North American market for beer and lager in 2003. South African breweries bought Miller Brewing for 5.6 billion US dollars in 2002. But its market share was only 17%. The market leader was Anheuser-Busch with a 49% share through its brand Budweiser. Because of its higher share, Budweiser was able to gain lower costs through economies of scale and was also therefore enabled to uh, conduct a price war strategy with South African breweries. By 2007, SAB Miller, as it was then renamed, needed a new North American strategy. It was losing money. So it combined with another North American brewing company, Coors, to improve the business profitability. The lesson here is that price wars can impact badly on weaker companies. The third area is key factors for success. In brewing, these include developing premium global brands, launching premium local brands, and reducing costs through new plant, new information technology systems, and rationalizing distribution. SAB Miller was following all of these in 2011, with the four main strategies that are described at the end of the case. The outcome for the company was steadily rising profits. SAB Miller had gone quietly global. Thank you.